Hey up, I'm Tim from Bracken and this is just a quick little tutorial on how to get the most out of the torn paper brushes in Photoshop. So let's hop on in. So let's say you've just booted up Photoshop and installed the torn paper brushes. Now if you were to just click through these and draw with them, you'll see that they're these kind of furry and torn edges using lots of little stamps of bits of paper. And now to draw with them just in a document like this isn't really how they're um, supposed to be used. They're basically built to be used in layer masks to give that super realistic looking uh, torn edge. So how do we do that? Well, let's say we've got a poster here or we want it to look like a rip sticker or whatever we want it to look like. We're gonna tear it up. So what I'll do is I'll take the graphic or image, and this is just a flattened, flat image as an example, but this could be a group of like a live working file or anything like that. And we're gonna go and add a layer mask. And that'll default add that as white. So I'm gonna hit Control or Command I on the layer mask. That's gonna invert it and make it black. And in this layer mask, we're gonna draw with any of these brushes we're going to draw with a white brush and you'll see that reveals it and we just draw in these kind of like zigzag lines or however we want to draw and it'll give us this realistic torn edge. Now what I do to make it look even more realistic is I'll then drop in a paper texture. I will just punch out that paper texture by hitting control on the graphic, selecting that and just pressing Control J. And that's just a quick and dirty way to get a uh, cut out of the paper texture that's the same size as the graphic. I'll put that below and I'll do the exact same thing with the layer mask. I'm gonna hit the layer mask, Control I to convert it. B for my brush tool and I'm just gonna brush in here on the kind of edges of those initial tears. And this will give you this real nice torn paper look as if like, this is color printed on top of white stock paper and it's been ripped and you've exposed that middle bit. And then if you want, we can just group those together, add some subtle drop shadows to it. And we have this super realistic looking torn poster. So that's it, that's how to use the torn paper brushes in Photoshop and with them you can just make stuff look ripped up, messed up, look like kind of like gnarly looking posters you get on walls that have been like slapped on and then sh 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 ripped off over time. All that good stuff. So I hope that helps, hope that clears up any issues you might have had with using them in layer masks or them just brushing them in on black on things and not looking right. So yeah, hope that helps and thank you very much for grabbing them and I'll see you soon.